welcome back welcome back to my channel it's your girl Stells. if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in um thank you for the love like i i, I just see my subscriber count growing and i'm so grateful um your encouragement and support motivates me and keeps me um researching on topics to share anything that can benefit anybody i'm all for it so today what are we talking about um we're going to talk about i've, I've received 25 percent of my pension guys and if you have not collected that money hmm, you're on a long thing you, know? you are on a really long thing that money is sweet like when i got that money i was just doing for the christmas <laughs> no cap when i got that money in naira i just started doing for the christmas not to everybody anyways to those that i had you know you know made one or two promises to and some fulfillment i needed to obligations i needed to fulfill i just had to do it because the money was huge it wasn't beans and that money um yeah i don't i can't tell you the amount just know that my overall pension at the moment is in millions so imagine having 25 percent of that yes i have worked in the bank in nigeria for over eight years and um prior to working in the bank in nigeria i had worked in a human resource company um and i worked there for two years and um that was when i i started my relationship with um stambic ibtc the pensions um administrator that was what i used when i was working in the human resource company and when i switched to um the bank i maintained the same pension administrator so if you don't know let me enlighten you if you have left nigeria for a while and you have jackpot and you don't know you can actually access 25 percent of your pension you know from whatever country you are i will tell you the steps and how i was able to go about it okay that's what i'm here for i'm here to provide you with all your basic all the basic things you need to know i'm here to give it to you <laughs> okay i have my notes here as usual and if you see me looking down I'm actually looking out down to see um points number one to whatever points i have so first of all let me tell you what is required first of all you must have been unemployed in nigeria for four months so i left my job in january and uh, i applied for this pension in uh, in may and i got it in june it, i believe me it didn't take up to a month for me to get the funds and it was credited to my account and I did not have to me that money doesn't make sense converting it from naira to canadian dollars because the value right now in fact that's going to be a different video altogether the value of <laughs> naira to canadian dollars now is ridiculous so me converting that money from naira to from, from naira to card is not going to you know be of value to me but because i had things i needed to do in nigeria with naira i had to leave that money in naira so what do i need let's start from the beginning okay like i said you have to have been four months unemployed in nigeria so i left the banking industry i left my my job in nigeria january the last day of january and um february march april may four months made it it may made it four months oh sorry i applied in june and i got the money just in july so um it wasn't up to a month to be honest it wasn't up to a month and there were some little discrepancies why it take it took that long but um i am here to help you guide you through the process so that you don't have to go through the mistakes i made before applying so if you're using stambic ibtc um, pension administrator you can actually just go to their website and fill the form uh, sorry and do everything online but because my kind of person is if i don't get any updates i like to send reminder and i need a human being to reply me i don't want to submit an application and be hoping on god that when is this going thing going to pull through or maybe i made an error in the documentation i didn't submit the right thing at least if you send an email to somebody and you did do something wrong they will send you an email back and say okay please attach this one you did not feel this one correctly but if you send an application and you did not do it correctly <laughs> before anyways i don't know i didn't do it that way anyway so i did not go through their website i didn't go through um the stampy capitacy pension site to do it i sent them an email i used email for all my correspondences with the pension administrator and if you're using stambic ibtc the email you have to send um your documents to is pension s o oh there's no s behind yes pension as in p-e-n-s-i-o-n s-o at stambic ibtc.com so that's p-e-n S I O N S O at S T A N B I C 
ibtc.com so that's Stambic SO is more like, sorry, that pension SO is more like pension solutions, but the solutions is not in full. So it's pension SO at stambicibtc.com. So what are the documents? Like I said, the first thing is you have to have been stayed, you have to have stayed unemployed for four months, right? Before you can qualify to get 25%. So what are the documents you need? You need um, an application letter. You need to write a letter stating that you want them to grant you 25% of your pension. Um, you also need uh, your NIN slip. So your national identification number, that slip, you need to attach a copy of it. You also need to attach um, your birth certificate. You attach your birth certificate. Then if you have a passport photograph, a soft copy, attach it as well. Um, then in the, letter, in the letter, you need to put in your account number. That kind of credits the value to, you put your name, account name, bank, and account number there. Um, and also, most importantly, you must have done your data. In fact, this should have been the first thing I should have said. Ensure you do your data recapture in Nigeria before you travel. Because I don't know how else you're going to do it, to be honest. Data recapture is you need to submit your, um, when I did it in Nigeria, I went to their office. They have a, the office in Allen, I believe. Is it Allen? Around the Kedja, either Allen or Tony Street, I can't remember. But all I did was, I went with my office employment letter. I went to the copy of my ID card. I went with um, my NIN slip. They, sent, they gave me a bunch of forms I needed to fill. I filled those forms. I went to the passport photograph. I went with my birth certificate. I also went with, um, I went to my international passport as well. I think it's either of the two either your international passport or your nim but i went with the two and i also went with my office id card so those are the things i went with to do the data recapture so they would um collect all those documents from you so that's it's essential you do it i don't know what happened i don't know if they lost their data or so but or maybe their system crashed but it just it was just a mandatory phase for all of us in the office at that time to do data recapture and we all did it in fact i think i did it twice because they also came to my office again to do data recapture you know they even took our biometric stone prints face um took a picture of us you know with their system i did all of that so and i ensured because because after i after i did this at the office and i went to submit it physically at their office as well i took someone's number trust me now i called i said have you is this thing have you recaptured me <laughs> is my data has it been recaptured i don't want to hear that i have to come back here and do one thing one thing one thing you know so even you know how Nigeria is, I even had to sort the girl self that helped me to collect my documents. I was like, just to ensure that it's done, you know. <laughs> I'm not sorry, you. That, <laughs> it's not my person, but to ensure you get some things done because they can just, you know, collect your files and put it in the back burner and nothing will be done about it, you know. I didn't even have to queue or anything. The girl just told me, ah, don't worry, you'll get it, we'll get it done and collect all my documents and all of that. So. Sorry if I'm speaking too fast. I have another video to shoot, but I just want to give this information as succinct as possible. I don't want this video to be too long. So um, let me reiterate all the things you need to attach in the mail. So like I said, you need to put um, your birth certificate, your NIN, your passport photograph, um, write an application letter that you want them to grant you 25% of your pension and uh, include your pension number in the mail. So there is a form that you're supposed to fill. Because I did not have that form, after I sent them all these things, they now have to reply me and send me the form to fill. So if you want that form, my email address is always in the description of each video. So if you want me to just forward the form to you so that when you're submitting your application, you can just submit it with the form. Send me an email and I'll reply you with the form. I use Stambic IBTC. So if you use Stambic IBTC as well, just send me an email to send you the form for um, 25 percent pension for stambic ibtc it's a form it also has like a checklist and um uh a checklist where you tick all the things that you're supposed to attach and uh, what else does he have uh i think that that's it that's it so if once you have that form you just include it in your fill it you know include it in your application in your email and they'll start processing it you know, but if you don't have that form, I think it took them like a day to reply me back. So, so there was like a one day delay to reply me back and ask them to fill that form and send to them. You know, so I had to print the form, fill the form, scan the form, send to them. So you know how 
if i had other things ready so it would have just you know maybe fastened the process i don't know i believe so actually so now when you finish filling that form they'll reply you and tell you that okay they are actually processing it and the next thing is um your they will have to contact your employer now another thing i'll need you to do while you're when you, all the things you attach to them put do like a bullet point in the email and state it there also in the email give them the email or contact number of the hr in your company now that was another snag for me because trust me now that's why i wanted email because i needed someone to you know i can follow up with so um after a couple of days i didn't hear from them again i had to send them a reminder that guy what's up now with my money now uh -uh, how far <laughs> so they replied and said um they are waiting for confirmation from my HR, the HR of my company, that if I can give them an email for them to, or a contact for them to follow up with so that they can, can you know, fast track the process, they will. I was like, ah, shoot, immediately. I just sent an email to, because I, I know someone in HR. I just sent an email to my company's HR. I put the person I know in copy. I put the pension people in copy. I put the girl that replied the, from Stambik in copy and says, guy, confirm my stuff now you don't know say i don't come up for your organization confirm my employment <laughs> i now um tagged the pension board that kindly um forward required documents to this email address then i put the email address there so but i put them in the mail so they also know that i, I can actually communicate with my for my employer right so to avoid that snag while you're doing your application you can also put contact details of your hr because the exit letter Oh, I don't know if I mentioned exit letter. You need an exit letter. You also need to attach your exit letter in the email because they, they need to know that you've left the organization. It's not as if you're working and you want that money. <laughs> so they're going to confirm that exit letter. That is actually um, what they're going to do. So for them, for them not to be any delay or snag, you can put the contact details of your HR in the mail as well. So um, I gave them a couple of days again and I sent another reminder. How far? So, sorry, I'm using PG, no. <laughs> I'm a typical Nigeria girl. So, I sent them another email. How far? And they responded that, yes, they've gotten confirmation from my HR. Um, and they've sent my um, details to PENCOM. That's the Pension Commission body in Nigeria for it to be approved before they now disburse my money. After that as well, it took a couple of days. And another thing, see your Niger phone number. Hmm. Because I had two lines when I was in Nigeria. I had an Airtel and I had an MTN. So when I got here and before I got, before my husband got my iPhone, um, I needed to free one SIM because obviously I need to put my Canadian, my new Canadian line in. It was a two SIM phone. I need to put my Canadian line, you know. So because I don't really have so much contact on my MTN, I just, you know, let it go. So I've forgotten that. That MTN that I let go is the, because that was my first line ever. Is the same number I used to register for my pension when I was working with um, Integrated Corporate Services, ICSL. Um, so, I let that SIM go. Please, do not let your SIM go. <laughs> but anyways, it still did not cost me anything because um, the SIM, they were actually sending updates. Updates on each stage, on each, fee, on, on each phase. They were not sending emails, which is quite weird. They should have been sending me emails. I, was, I didn't get any email notification. But when they told me they've been sending, they now replied that they will be sending me, they've been sent, they will send me SMS updates. And I didn't get any SMS updates. I had to now go and look for that scene. And immediately I decided on my phone, pa, 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 all the messages started dropping on how the application is going. So, yes, you'll be getting SMS updates on the application process then um shortly after a week from when they replied me that it's currently with pen pencom and um they're waiting approval i got my money i got that money and if you don't have any financial obligations in nigeria and you want to um, change the money to canadian dollars you can if you want to invest it in um it depends on how huge the funds are if you want to invest invest it in a business in nigeria or you want to put it in a mutual fund you can actually do that um money market now has dropped to like eight point something percent because um you can actually do that if you if i had things to do with my money so i don't have any money saved in naira you know but if you actually have any money you can you know put it in um, a mutual fund or something which can actually still benefit you so with that i would say that is how you apply for 25 percent of your pension and get it while you have jackpot 
if you're in Nigeria, obviously it's a different ball game. You can decide to walk up to any of their offices, you know, but we that don't have the privilege to walk up to any of the offices, this is the step we can actually take to get the funds back. So for clarity, I think um I will just put I will just itemize everything in the description below so that you can actually take a look and um, take a snapshot. Yes. And go ahead and apply for your money. It's your money. You've your hard your work, blood and sweat. Or how did they say it? You've been working for years, all right? <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. I may your girls. Stay blessed. Okay. See you in the next one. Bye bye.